All right. Uh, me and Tyler did our uh, presentation on Orthodox Judaism. Uh, just a little background in history. The majority of Jewish people are second, third, and fourth generations that came from Eastern and Southern Europe. Uh, just a little bit about them. The, uh, they speak pretty much whatever language they're born into. Um, they're pretty much all around like the United States and all around like the world. And since it's like a religion, it's, it's pretty much practice around the world. So there's really no like certain language they speak. It's pretty much whatever they're born into. Um, they do get married at an early age. That's usually if their parents are like born into it, into the religion and, uh, they're from like the older times, like a little back then, then uh, they're going to push their children to get married at an early age. And they also also have larger families. So they're more likely to uh, have larger families. Um, there is multiple people playing professional sports right now across the United States that do practices of religion. Um, it could be like the NFL, the NBA, uh, even saw some like Olympics, uh, just multiple sports at all different kinds of levels. Uh, then I found that there's a dance, it's called the Hora. Yeah, they do it at their wedding and the, the men and women are separated from each other, from everyone at the party. And they dance to this music in a big circle and supposedly they, they hype it up a whole bunch and it looks like, like a decent time. Uh, some of these holidays, it's going to be kind of hard to pronounce. Um, Purim, it celebrates the defeat of plot to destroy the Jews of Persia, uh, which sounds like a big holiday. It sounds like it's kind of harsh a little bit. Uh, Passover, I'm sure a lot of people have heard of this. It's a deliverance of Jewish people from Egypt. Um, this third one is going to be pretty hard. Uh, Shavat, it's a feast of weeks, marks the giving of the law. Uh, another one that you guys have probably heard of, Rosh Hashan, I can't even say it. Anyway, it's a uh, Jewish New Year. Um, the next one is Yom Kempor, it's the uh, most Salem day of the year, devoted to fasting, prayer. And then the next one is uh, Sukkot, sounds like, the first two days of, yeah, I can't say that either. Um, then you get the, uh, the next one, it's the eighth day of assembly. Uh, the next one celebrates the new new cycle of annual scriptural readings. And then the last one's Hanukkah, probably the most well heard around the United States. So um, some facts and statistics. Um, roughly about 7.6 million Jewish Americans um, live in the U.S., um, that's about 2.4% of the U.S. population. Um, also, America welcomed Jewish people and the Jewish community grew in diversity. Um, in America, Jewish people felt a sense of safety and security. By 1950, most Jewish Americans were native born. Um, also, many Jewish Americans participated in two world wars, experienced the Great Depression, and witness the Holocaust and its aftermath from afar. Jewish Americans tend to have big families. This suggests that their population will grow in the future. Some implications in the school um, would be, um, they tend to value um, education and uh, it's strongly embedded in their culture. Um, in America, the Jewish community um, received some uh, discrimination in the work field. 
Um, Jewish children are advised to seek value in education, um, mostly from their parents. Jewish education is oftentimes um, sex segregated. Boys tend to study um, Jewish scriptures while um, girls uh, tend to study Jewish education um, and like a broader list of items. Jewish teachers are highly regarded in their culture since they value education so much. Um, some physical activity um, implications would be um, in the past, um, the Jewish community valued ed education over um, physical activity. Um, educational achievements are more valued um, than physical achievements. However, as time went on, the Jewish community um, began valuing um, physical act activity a little bit more. Um, they began creating Jewish organizations with an emphasis on physical activity and sport. And overall, as long as it doesn't interfere with their academics, the Jewish community tends to view physical activity and sports as a good thing. And then at the end, we have uh, me and Chad's uh, resources that we use to, uh, to create this um, PowerPoint. And I I'm going to say a couple things to why we uh, selected this uh, religion. Uh, in my experience, I have uh, a friend, actually my roommate, that practices uh, this religion. And um, I'm a big NFL guy. So uh, with Julian Edelman, uh, he practices uh, this religion uh, pretty hard. And he put a thing out there on uh, social media just saying, like, how like if if we're gonna have like like stop Asian hate stop black hate then like we also need to like think of other religions and like races and all that kind of stuff and it brought to my attention like it'd be cool to like educate ourselves and I believe Tyler has uh, some people in his family also so it's pretty cool to do a whole bunch of research and put this together. Yep.